Hey, I'm Randy, and I'm the Cheap Audio Man. Here at the Cheap Audio Man, we don't feel like a stereo should cost as much as paying for your wedding photos to be taken by a legitimately decent photographer. Then you get those photos. You can share them digi digitally or put them into a, a photo album or blow them up and put them on the wall. And remember your wedding for the rest of your life. Like when you're skinny and optimistic. We don't think that a stereo should cost as much as that. And these don't. Mm. Affordable stereo system. Less than $500. So grab a cup of coffee. And let's talk about how to put together a stereo for less than 500 bucks. excited for this video I'm blatantly plagiarizing Steve Gutenberg because I watched his video this morning and he had a video on how to put together stereo for less than fifteen hundred dollars and I love I love Steve he's awesome and so I was like hmm I wonder if I could do this for less than five hundred dollars so I did okay if you like what we're doing over here maybe subscribe to the channel we have a whole bunch of videos if you want to support the channel we have patron Patreon. You can be a patron on Patreon. Mm -hmm. uh, we have links and then uh, you can sign up for Amazon Music HD for free. It's in the description. All of it's in the description. So, what do you need for a, for a decent little stereo system? You're going to need some speakers. All right, we're going to talk about a couple of speakers. You're going to need something to drive those speakers. So, we're going to talk about that. And then you're going to need a source. And we're going to talk about that. Maybe even a subwoofer. Yeah. Subwoofer. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's talk about speakers first. On the table, I have the Emotiva V1. Sorry. I just wanted to see what, what it would do to my coffee. Uh, Emotiva Airmotive B1 Plus. $230. Over here, you may recognize this old veteran. It's the ELAC Debut B6, the one that started it all. All right. Catapulted ELAC into the cosmos of speaker greatness. They're already get pretty good. Okay, $230. Now, with that said, when I checked Amazon this morning, there were nine left on Amazon. Nine. This is discontinued. The, really, the only place I've found it is on Amazon. I'm sure you can find it other places. Listen to that. That's a quality woofer right there. So, there's nine left. All right. The reason why I chose these two speakers. Number one, because they are both $230. Number two, I think they represent uh, different ends of the spectrum of greatness. Okay? So, let's talk about the Emotiva. The Emotiva Airmotive B1 Plus has a 25 millimeter by 32 millimeter AMT air motion tweeter. Okay, not like a soft dome or aluminum dome. It's a different technology. With that different technology, in my opinion, you get a level of clarity and detail that is pretty much unrivaled at anything at this price range, except for another Emotiva speaker. Anyway, you got a five and a quarter inch. Woofer, these uh, bad boys, bad girls, bad its. All right, I gotta look it up. They are 86 dB at eight ohms. Okay, not really that hard to drive. I know some people will say it is, but it's not. It's not uh, 48 hertz up to 28,000 hertz. Okay, sounds great. You got nice thick base a little bump in the trunk on the bottom end smack you in the face a little bit like someone that's trying to wake you up and they're mean to you i don't know that make any sense so anyway it's clear and it's got good base presence okay mid-range is good okay maybe not the greatest butteriest mid-range whatever it's fine this is the best speaker that you can get at $230 if you're into an exciting speaker. All right, let's swing the pendulum the other way. 
This, the ELAC Debut B6, is the best speaker you can get at $230. That's a little bit hmm, warmer on the bottom. Okay, good bass presence on the bottom. Great detail in the mids and the highs. And here's where it gets real interesting for the Debut B6. This thing sound stages like a maniac. It's all over the place like a like a drunken sailor on leave, pulled into San Diego, running around town, inebriated, buying up a bunch of stuff, knocking over street vendors. It's all over the place. Just like the Elac debut B6, okay? $230 or $230. You want an exciting speaker? Get the Air Mode of B1 Plus. You want a more laid back speaker that sound stages like nothing I've ever heard before? You get the Elac debut B6. All right, we're at $230. Well, you got to have something to drive them, right, Randy? Heck yeah, you do. You gotta, hmm. Grab a topping MX3. All right, I just did a video, a review on this one. This doesn't sound like a whole lot of power 35 into 8, 40 into 4. Okay does just fine. I actually drove the Emotiva Airmotive T0s off of this baby. Did just fine. All right. So what do you get with this? You get an amp, you get a DAC, okay? You get a remote control and you get Bluetooth. And you get a full-sized subwoofer out. All right? That is $140. So 230 plus 140 is what 370 yeah 370 all right 370 dollars you're using your phone you're using your smart tv you're using your apple t tv anything you probably already own all right you're getting music out of your apps out of that or right out of your phone okay don't like the mx3 want a little bit more power i got you covered this is the smsl 8018 actually it isn't it's the m300 why don't I have the 8018 anymore? Because I gave it to my wife's friend and hooked up a stereo in her house so that she can enjoy music. Because that's what that's what the cheap audio man does. I give away stuff so that people can enjoy music. All right. We're going to pretend like this is the 8018. All right. Pretty much all the same functionality as the MX3. A bit more power. Thing about the 8018, the connections on the back are not full size. So the topping... Full-size connection, full-size USB, full-size optical, full-size coax. The 8018 mini optical, mini coax, yo, cable, mini subwoofer out, okay? They both work just fine. SMSL is a little bit more powerful. They both have tone controls, though, too. So, And the uh, 8018 has, like, six different EQ settings, okay? Two of which are usable. Like the other four, just like, might as well call it Trouble Killer 1, 2, 3, and 4. You're not going to want the Trouble Killers. All right. So, we're at $370. We have a source, be it Bluetooth or be it digital, coming in. They also both have RCA ins. So, if you have an existing CD player, turntable that has a phono amp built in, you're good. All right, we got an extra $130. What are we gonna do with that? What, Randy, can we do with $130? You can buy a subwoofer, $130 subwoofer. Yeah, you can get a mono price 12 inch, 150 watt subwoofer for 130 bucks. Or you can get a Polk PSW10 or something like that for 130 bucks. Oh, just a second. It's gonna fall over. I put it on the wrong side. All right, there's flat. I, I may. I think I'm gonna make it. I can't see it on my left eye though. All right, five hundred dollars. Now you have a choice of two of the best speakers available at two hundred thirty dollars. Okay. One of which is going away. Think you want the B6? Jump on it, please. All the links will be in the description. 
you have two very capable DAC amps with subwoofer outs. And now you have a subwoofer. $500. You're enjoying life. Okay? Yeah. $500. You can be happy with that system for a long, long time. So, if you like the video, like the video. Subscribe. We have other stuff, like between two speakers. Actually, I did one of these a long time ago. And it was when I was wildly unpopular on YouTube. Now I'm just unpopular on YouTube. If you like what we're doing here, subscribe. Check out some of the other videos. Don't binge watch Netflix. Binge listen to one of your favorite streaming apps and fill your soul with happiness.